some situations we had to uh, apply some traffic shaping before we reached the microwave in order to prioritize important traffic such as voice and real-time traffic and real-time video traffic. And in other cases we had to apply some QoS policies on the microwave because the microwave is not like a fiber link. Microwave link could change capacity depending on the weather condition and on the fading, so the, the bandwidth could vary. So here we had to make sure that when the bandwidth shrinks that the, our uh, important traffic such as video or anything that is important to the mobile operator, voice, are always uh, served and then low priority traffic that could wait like uh, web browsing were delayed. The first lesson is about the dimensioning of the network. So the key challenge here is understanding that IP, in IP we can take advantage of statistical multiplexing. So we don't have to uh, dimension our network more than we need. So we have to understand what kind of services run on our network and we can dimension our network accordingly. Um, the second lesson that I've learned during transition from uh, TDM to IP uh, is that in TDM quality of service is native to TDM. One is, uh, in TDM we reserve an E1, we reserve a circuit and that circuit is reserved from point A to point B until it reaches in destination. In, in IP natively there is no mention of, uh, of bandwidth reservation. So we have to add quality of service to assure, as we said previously, that the important traffic is always transported and not dropped in the network. Mm -hmm. And the third challenge, or the third lesson that I've learned is uh, the synchronization lesson, especially if we're talking about mobile networks. Mobile equipment need to be synchronized to support handover between cell sites. So when the user is on their cell phone, they're, they're driving their car, they don't drop the call. Mm -hmm.